Hey you guys, today we're gonna draw a really crazy creature. What is this thing called? An axolotl. An axolotl, yeah. It, it kind of looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're using markers, some paper, and... Something to color with. All right, let's draw this little Pokemon. <laughs> okay, we're first gonna draw its face. We're gonna draw an oval right here towards the top of the paper. We're gonna draw a kind of crazy oval like that. And it could be bumpy since they have bumpy heads. <laughs> I was learning more about them. They have really crazy ability to regenerate any of their body parts. Now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw smaller ovals inside and I'm gonna draw them tipping towards the top and one over here on this side also. <laughs> then we can color in the oval for his eyes. Next, let's draw his mouth. And I'm gonna draw a really happy mouth, like this. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little thicker also, so it kinda of looks like his mouth is open a, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Next we're gonna draw his hairdo, or his little crazy tentacles. Gill his gills, yeah, that are on the outside of his head. Okay, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna draw a wavy line that comes out the side like this. We're gonna draw up and out. So a little S line. Yeah, good job. Then we're gonna draw another S line coming back down, but look, it starts out here at a point and then comes down and gets thicker at the bottom. Now, let's repeat that same curve over here. S line coming out. These have gotta be the coolest looking creatures. Then we're gonna draw that line coming back in to his head. Okay, now let's draw another one above. So we're gonna start right next to the this first one we drew and we're gonna draw an S line coming up like this and then back down. Yeah, then we're gonna do the same thing over here. S line and back down. <laughs> All right, now they got one more on each side. Oh, you're doing a great job. <laughs> now we're gonna draw another one over here. So an S line coming out and then back in. And over here, if we go too fast, our art friends can always do what? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need more time, you can pause the video. Oh my gosh, he looks awesome. Now let's draw Let's draw the little hairs coming out on each of these little things. So we can just draw little spikes that come down like this. And I'm just gonna draw zigzag lines and I'm gonna go all the way up the side like that. And on this one, I'm gonna draw another zigzag on the other side. And some of the little squigglies can be long and some of them can be short. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side all the way up to the top, and then another one on the other side. So these first little tentacles have the little squigglies or the gills on both sides because it's facing right at us. But on these ones, the two additional ones, we're just gonna draw the little squigglies on the bottom or underside. Yeah, because it's facing. Yeah. These ones are facing a different direction. So I'm gonna do another one down here. Now if you need to, remember to pause the video if you need to take time to draw this little extra, these little squiggly, squiggly extra lines, pointy whatever. Things. Little pointy things on your axolotl. 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 <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> now let's draw his body. We're gonna draw a U shape right here. I'm gonna draw coming down like this, and then I'm gonna draw back up like that. <laughs> you can just draw I a simple U shape. Yeah, we, it would be fun to have one of these as a pet. Okay, now let's draw his arms. <laughs> We're gonna draw a bent line. We're gonna start right here next to his neck. We're gonna come out and then bend down. And we could do the same thing on the other side too. Out, bend down. Okay, we're drawing him swimming right at us. We're gonna draw another one that matches right next to it. I'm gonna do that same line over here on this side. Now we're gonna draw five fingers on his arm. So we're gonna draw the thumb out here first. I'm just gonna draw a little V shape, sideways V. We can draw another one. And then I'm gonna draw 
let's see, three more, one, or two more now. There we go, and then this one connects in. How many fingers you got? One more? There you go, you did it! Okay, now <laughs> let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw his thumb first, and then his first finger that's a little bit longer. <laughs> one more finger, and then we're gonna draw three more. One, two, three, four, and then connect it in. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> well, I like got a little extra one in there. That's okay. Okay, now let's draw his legs. <laughs> so we're going to start right here. Let's draw a line that comes down, and then it can bend right here at the end. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Come out, and then bend down. Now let's draw the top of his leg. We're going to start here. We'll draw a line that matches first one we drew. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Now, if you need to, if you go, if you get really close to the fingers and you and you need to go behind, just use overlapping to make it look more 3D like that. Okay, now let's draw his toes. And we're just gonna draw the same amount. We're gonna repeat those same steps to draw his toes. They look basically the same as their hands. So there's his thumb or big toe, then little toes coming down and back into his leg. We'll do the same thing over here. Toe, finger, or more toes. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, and four. Five. Try to get five. There you go. Good job. <laughs> okay. That little one there. <laughs> now what's he missing, Hadley? His tail. His tail. Or her tail. <laughs> now we're gonna draw we're gonna draw a little curve that comes down, connects to his left leg. Yeah. And then we can imagine it going behind the leg and coming down a little further. Then we're gonna draw the top of his tail. And we're going to draw it curving up and connecting to his hand. And then we're going to imagine it going behind his hand. So you can use overlapping. We'll start right here. Connect up to his, his little fingers. I guess his tail a little more oh, that way. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Now, right here, we can imagine it going through his hand. So we'll start right about there and then connect into his body. There we go. And in. All right, Hadley, we did it. it. Your little axolotl looks so cute. Now we still need to do one last thing to make it look even cooler. What do we still need to do? Color. Yeah, now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hallie, great job on coloring your cute little salamander. She turned out awesome. Do you think she looks better colored in? Mm -hmm. I think so too. And I hope our art friends are gonna color in their drawings also. Now the colors we used were peach, crimson red, pink, and true blue. Also used a white colored pencil to add little dots for highlights in his eyes to make him look shiny. We mixed the peach and the pink together to color the body. And then we mixed the crimson red and the pink for the little tentacles coming off of his head. And we use the blue around his eyes. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your axolotl. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. Now you could also add a background. You could draw his habitat in the background. That would be awesome. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, did you know that we have an app now? For a small monthly price, you can get access to all of our lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more.